Mechanical RGB gaming keyboards are becoming smaller and way more expensive than they should be. Fortunately, there are still keyboard manufacturers out there that are producing these kinds of keyboards at a very high quality, but also at an affordable price. And Red Dragon is one of these manufacturers. So in this video, we'll be reviewing the Wyvern Pro keyboard from Red Dragon. You can also call it the K689 Pro. This is a full-size RGB mechanical gaming keyboard from Red Dragon. We're gonna be taking a look at what comes in its box and also I'm gonna show you the keycaps and the switches up close. We're gonna replace some of them and I'm gonna tell you what are their connections and we're gonna be testing it in gaming. So let's start first by showing you what comes in its box. Let's open it up. The packaging of the Red Dragon keyboards has come a long way from previous packaging and it is really very nice. These are the accessories and these are the spare switches. And this is the Wyvern keyboard. And it really looks very nice. So you have eight extra switches. And this is the key puller and the switch puller. And this is a USB-A to USB-C cable. And this is a spare space bar that is white instead of orange and also a spare escape key that is also black instead of orange. So this is everything you get in the box. Let me put these aside to give you an overview about the specifications of this keyboard. So the main specifications of this keyboard is that it's a mechanical keyboard. The key travel is 2 mm and the force is approximately 40 grams and the travel distance is 3.6 mm. It is compatible with Windows and with Mac. It has linear mechanical keys that are hot swappable and they are battery smooth and they sound really very good. We're gonna listen to the sound in a bit. It also has 108 keys. The four extra keys are these shortcuts here that are very useful. For instance, this is the calculator shortcut and it has three layers of noise dampening. And the keycaps are PBT and this is incredible at this price point because this keyboard is a very good value keyboard. It's not very expensive. I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And also it has RGB coloring. I'm going to connect it to my PC now so for you to see its colors. I'm going to bring down the light a little bit. So this is the lighting of the keyboard. Let's now listen to the keycap sound. And also on the back of the keyboard, it has the legs here. So they have two levels. And there is also rubber everywhere here on the keyboard so that it doesn't slip on your desk. And also this keyboard has a software that you can use to customize it fully like you want. So let me show you the connections of this keyboard. You have here on the back of the keyboard the USB-C connection. And it is also 2.4 gigahertz. For it to work in 2.4 gigahertz, you need to put this switch all the way to the left and you need to put this dongle in your PC or in your Mac. And for it to work physically connected, you need to put the switch in the middle on the off position. And for Bluetooth, you need to put the switch all the way to the right. And for Bluetooth, you can connect it up to three devices. And to choose between the devices, you press function, Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2, or Bluetooth 3. Now, if you want to use it on your Mac computer, you put this switch to the right on the Mac position. Let me show you up close the inscription here. It is very hard to see, but now you can see it when I put it close like this. To check the level of the battery, how much it is charged, you press the function key plus the right menu key, and you have this level here. So here it is at 80% because it is at number 8. Now you already saw the lighting, but here I'm going to show you how you can change the lighting from the keyboard. So you press function and Del to change the lighting here. So white and then green and so on. And if you want to change the pattern of the lighting, you press function and insert. And to change also the intensity of the lighting function, up arrow and down arrow and the speed of the changing of the pattern function left arrow and right arrow and of course you can control all this in the software now also take a look at the documentation here you have all the instructions for the lighting and for the connection and here you have all the shortcuts that you can do with this keyboard 
Let me show you now how to replace the keycaps and the switches and at the same time you're gonna take a closer look on the switches. So to remove the keycap first, you have this puller that comes with the keyboard. Just put it like this and slide it slowly. And now it is on the keycap. Pull it firmly but slowly. And here's the keycap removed. And the switches are mechanical switches that are called mint mambo. They are completely looped and they have a very positive push to them. And for you to be able to experience the good feeling about the switches, you need really to test this keyboard. They have an incredible feeling. Now to remove the switch, also with the key puller, but now it is on the other side. So this is the switch side. Put it here like this, and then push it on it and remove it slowly also. And here it is removed. So this is the switch up close and it is a very high end switch. Now to put back the switch, just put it like this and be careful of the direction. You have these two openings, they should be on the top. Just put it here and then push it in gently. And now it is all the way in. And I'm gonna install the black escape key here. Also just put it on the switch and push it in. And here it is installed. Gaming with this keyboard is a joy. It is really very smooth to operate and the keys are sensitive without being overly sensitive. The feel of the keys is very nice. So they are not very hard to push, but they are not very soft. They will not tire your finger. The sound of the keys is also nice. And I connected the keyboard here with the 2.4 GHz dongle and there is no lag at all. And also if you connect it with the cable, of course, there is no lag. But if you connect it with the Bluetooth, there will be lag. So you cannot play with Bluetooth with this keyboard. Now I've been using for the last months every day the Wyvern Pro keyboard and I absolutely fell in love with it. But in my opinion, there are still some areas that can be improved. Let me tell you first what I like about it. I like its excellent build quality. I like the keys feelings and the switches. And also I like the fact that the keys are made out of PBT. Also, I like that it has three connection modes and it is an incredible value in my opinion for what it offers. Now, what I don't like about it is that the keycaps are not transparent. So the lighting in the keyboard is only for aesthetical purposes. If you use it at night, you cannot see the keycaps. And what I also don't like about it is that it is a little bit laggy in Bluetooth mode. But if you're not using it for playing, the Bluetooth mode is good for everyday use. Now, if you want to check it out, I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description. If you make a purchase using my links, I'll gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will support my channel. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.